Christmas. I was watching it. Uh, I don't know if you caught it on uh, Hulu, the Emmett Till, uh, uh, the mothers, the women of the movement. Nah, everybody Man, was talking about it. It's bro. it's four episodes, brother. Now they just they just dropped the the latest two episodes, but they dropped the uh, they dropped they premiered it last week. Man, that's a good movie uh, show. I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. Like. You gotta watch it. I know it, racism man. exists. I yeah. know I know these people is evil, like the 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 epitome of evil. Mm. Like I done seen all of the the racist shit I could see, bro. I yeah. can't I can't even So you fed up. It, like a lot of that shit just pisses me off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what they but and in, in the beginning of it, it's it literally say like, uh call this number. If you feel any type of anger or anything like that, because this show will incite you. Bro, because they telling you how evil these people is and was, bro. That's so that's why, kid. yeah. That's it's, 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 and, 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 and again, it's like we, we, we living in America and we know that the white man is a devil. Facts. I feel like when they do bring out shit like that. Like, white people should watch that shit. Like, white people are watching it, and they feel bad. They should, bro. And that's why they 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 understand, and they learning. Some of them are learning. Um, but the thing about it is, are we watching it? Nah, to sit there and know, we don't, we don't watch it to, you know, we sit there, we don't know, like, again, yeah, the white man is the devil. Boom. At the same time, you acting out the white man's actions. And when we say the white man, it's like, man, that's, that's, you you killing your own brother. Man, I, I just, like, the last thing that I watched that was racist was American Skin. You ever seen that? American Skin? Yeah, it's a movie. It's a movie. It ain't. It wasn't even released in theaters. Like it was, you had to buy it oh, to, right. to scream it or to watch it. I think I paid like seven, eight dollars for it. But basically, this, this, this. I, I don't want to say he was an army vet. I don't remember what he was a vet though. Mm -hmm. He uh he came back. He found a job. He wanted his son to go to a good school, a mm -hmm. white school. So in order to go to this white school, he had to either live in the district or his father had to work at the school. So his father decided to be a janitor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So his son goes to the school and his son was eventually killed by a police officer, a white police officer. Mm -hmm. So the father eventually ran into the the um, police station, took everybody for hostage, put dude on trial for killing his son. He was convicted of killing his son. But the father didn't take it no further. Like, the father didn't kill nobody. He didn't hurt nobody. None of this shit, bro. Mm -hmm. At the end, he decided to give up, give himself up. <laughs> but, you know, black dude running the police station, take that motherfucker over. And, and all I hear is, bro, you know you're not walking out this bitch alive. You're not. They're mm -hmm. going to kill you. He walking out with the white police officer that he done low-key became friends with type shit. White police officer... Say, I'm bringing him out. Our uh, hands up, bro. They killed that man. Yeah. Shot him right in his head. Because it's like, no, bro. We got to make examples every opportunity we can. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't do this. You can't run into a police station and hold police hostages, bro. But it's like, we as black people, we always get held accountable for shit. Like, nobody else getting held accountable, bro. So if you ever get a chance, American skin. But that was the last shit I saw there. Piss me the fuck off. Yeah, man, there's gonna be a lot of stuff when they come out and information, whether they make a TV show or a movie or uh, just a document, it's gonna piss you off. Like, it it, it, it baffles me. Some people still uh, are are don't you know know what happened to Malcolm X. It baffles me. It baffles me sometimes. I mean, I'm still learning about what happened to Emmett Till. You know, I'm. It, the stuff that happened and that's going on is really is is being you said America's uh American skin American skin the stuff that happens man is like it's it's put 
in documents that are, uh, what's the word for it, are classified, that we can't go go into the information if we don't know nothing about it. But if we just do the diligent research, we'll find out enough. And like you said, it piss you off. But it's supposed to piss you off, not to sit there and make you go out there and do riots, but for us to do better with ourselves, starting with ourselves, and then for our community. Remember when we was in, in elementary and high school, like we used to watch movies about this shit. Mm -hmm. you know? I swear to God, when I first, man, I was like, not that goddamn man. I was probably like nine years old when I first found out about Emmett Till. I'm still watching this shit to this day and finding out more information. Read, I gotta read Mammy Till's book because the details in that is is more detail in the book than it is in the movie. So it's like you know, if I was goddamn <laughs> 1955, right? August. I would have sat there and told my son, you know you're going down to Mississippi, and this is not the same as Chicago. Emmett Till was born in Chicago. I sit there, you know, this is this how we got to teach like our children. It's like, don't sit there and fake the funk. Let them know what's really going on out here. There's some real shit going on out here to this day. Like I said, we can sit there and talk about white folks, black folks. Nah, we already know that war. But there's a war going on, for real, against our own selves. And so we can sit there and teach our children, like, man, look. These black folks, man. They look like you, but they, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately are not your brothers, not your sisters. So you can't trust everybody, you know. It's tough.